What's up guys, welcome back to another trip to the thrift. This is number 93. If you guys are enjoying these videos, please hit that like button, subscribe down below if you wanna see more, and drop a comment. I try to respond to all the comments I can. But first off, I wanna thank you guys because we reached 7K here on the channel is crazy because I feel like just a couple videos ago I was talking about how we reached 6k so I appreciate all the support that you guys have been giving me and um, I'm glad you guys are enjoying the content so let's go see what we can find this week here is the Malik Rose for 495 New York Knicks jersey size 2x by Reebok but of course it being a white jersey it always has stains on it so this store that I'm in, I never find shoes, but for some reason today they had these. They are a little beat up um, for $8.98, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and get them and try to restore them and then see how they come out. But for nine bucks, it's not too bad, I guess. I found this bootleg Tommy Hilfiger shirt right here for $2.95. It's like a khaki color. $1.95. I found this Jigglypuff uh, Smash Bros. Low Tier t-shirt. These are cool though, these LeBron 12s. I don't know if there's like a specific uh, name for them or not. They want $17 for them. Still pretty clean overall. Found this whacked game. Never heard of it for $2.99. All I know is this girl has clothes on on the cover, but then when you open it, yeah. We got some all-white Kyrie 3s, uh, but they're kind of yellow now. They want $10 for them, which is not bad, but they're a size 13. We got the Dane Cook Tour tee right here from 2007. I wish it was one size bigger. Got some KD 6s. I don't know exactly what these ones are called. They want $20 for them. A pair of old schools for $6.99. I don't know if the color's coming out, but it's like a really light, like Tiffany color. I don't know. Pretty big though. Kyrie ones for $20. These are like a size 7. And then there's also a pair of Curry's for $15. We got the for $1.99 size XL Brock Lesnar Suplex City Tee. I'm not gonna lie, over the past couple years, I've been disliking Brock Lesnar more and more because of his schedule but still a pretty cool shirt I guess <laughs> I didn't even know they made fakes of these Jumpman pros but these are obviously fakes as you can tell by the carbon fiber and the Jumpman I have no idea how you play Yahtzee but this is too cool to leave this Legend of Zelda collector's edition for $2.99 I think just the chest is cool because um, if you guys ever notice I have a bunch of Legend of Zelda stuff displayed so I think this would be pretty cool to put up there too. So check out these Fab Five Hirachis I just found. They have like print all over them. Like right there you got Brick with the little sick face. These are pretty dope but they're 20 bucks. Size nine and a half. Got some Burgundy Roshi 2's I think these are. I could be wrong for $3.99. It says as is. I guess because of that. Also, this youth release of the 14s for $8.99. I'm working our way over here. We got some gray and black Air Forces. We got these Adidas right here, these Samoas. And we got a pair of like USA Kyrie 2s for 12 dollars Over here in the women's section, I found these Prestos and it's like UNC blue for $5. I six wide, but they're pretty ripped up on the toe. Also over here, there was this pair of A6 Gel Light like 3s, but those they're asking $12.81 for. What do you guys think? Must cop or no? <laughs> for only $13? Look how bad this leather looks. It looks horrible. I found these Nike hiking shoes right here. I want to say they're from 1994, but it's really hard to tell because the date is rubbed off on the tag. But I want to thinking that says 94 but they want $13 for those found this pair of NMDs um, they're actually still pretty clean overall they want $15 for them the only issue with them oops the only issue with them is on the toe they have a little pilling on the toe cap but other than that still pretty clean even the boost is still pretty clean on these so I bought the NMDs and they actually turned out to be half off, which I didn't know. So they came out to like $758. So uh, that makes it even better. 
for six dollars I found this hardwood classics Reebok size 2xl Boston Celtics like warm-up shirt big NBA patch on the sleeve everything's like embroidered and everything nothing on the back but the little logo and for $8.50, I found this Dwayne Wade uh, Miami Heat jersey in this like silver, platinum, and white. Still super clean, surprisingly. But this one is a size small. I also found this tee right here, Steve Kinsler. Um, I don't know. I don't think it's nothing crazy or anything like that, but I just really like the graphic and the colors on it. And look at the back. But this one's like $1.75, so I'm probably just going to get this one for personal wear. We got three games, Skate 3 on the PS3, which I just recently got that, so I don't really need it. Need for Speed Carbon, which is great, one of my favorite racing games. And then a copy of NCAA Football 14. Got a pair of the Kobe 6 helicopters for $20. Size 7Y though, you don't really see these too much anymore. And a pair of Black Cat 13, size 2. All right guys, so I just came out of that store. Uh, I picked up the NCAA. I picked up the helicopters, but what I, I forgot to record, but I went back to the shoe section before I left to make sure I didn't miss anything. And then I found these Nike SB disposables. These were $20. Uh, I ended up picking up picking them up for um, personal wear. They're not bad, they just need to be cleaned up. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I haven't really been into Nike SBs since like the blue box era. That was like when I was big into it. Um, but I haven't been keeping up with the releases, so I don't really know too much about these. All I know is that they were made after um, a book that has like a bunch of skateboard art in it called uh, Disposable. So I don't know, I thought these were pretty cool. Cool colorway, cool concept. That's one thing that I always loved about Nike SBs is the concepts are always cool. Here at Play-Doh's Closet, so let's go in and see what they got this week. All Red Forces. So they got these Beach KD5s. They got these Presto Mids. 30 bucks. They got these ones. I always thought these ones were cool. Like all the colorways they released of these. I know they're not very hype or anything, but I always liked them. They got these ones too. I want to say these are like the Vegas ones or something like that. For 20 bucks. Some Pippins. 40 bucks pink forces they're missing the straps 30 bucks they got these um, all white sevens right here for 40 bucks size seven honestly don't understand why people like these we got a pair of answer fours I want to say if I believe uh, these are 699 but these things have been repainted re-glued read everything they're missing the insoles, all the heel drag. Um, so yeah, I'm probably not going to be getting these. But I did sell a pair of these recently. Team USA training jersey for $5.99. Check out this Baltimore Oreos, Oreos, Orioles <laughs> shirt that I found from 1994. It's like split down the middle, black and white. Um, $2.99. One side heather gray, one side black. This one's actually pretty cool. I found this 25th anniversary UFC shirt that has like their original logo on it. As you can see down here, 25 years. This one's actually pretty dope. I would actually get this, but it's covered in stains. Here's these uh, LeBron Air Forces right here. But these things, like the tongue's all cracked up. But it's still pretty cool, I guess. Some curries, but these things are done for $4.99. Check out this blue Power Ranger plush that I found from 1993 for $3.99. I'm pretty sure I had this when I was younger. I might have been the White Ranger though. Found this Mario shirt, size medium. I don't know how this brand is pronounced, but yeah. <laughs> also found this Dipset Diplomats Harlem World tee right here, $1.49. On the back you got 97 kilo. Found two games, NBA Jam, which this is actually a pretty decent uh, like remake of it. They want $2.99 and then Simpsons Hit and Run, which is a really good game. And I don't think I have this one, so I might go ahead and grab this one. I might not get NBA Jam though. So that brings us to the end of this week's trip to the thrift. If you did like the video, please hit that like button. Subscribe down below if you want to see more and drop a comment. Shout out to all the people that have been coming up to me recently and telling me how much they enjoy the channel. Really appreciate that, guys. We'll see you next week with another one, so later.